Obie's Mud Bath, written by Annette Schottenfeld, illustrated by Fulasad Adeshita. It is published by Clear Fork Publishing at clearforkpublishing.com, printed in the United States, and the copyright is 2021. The book is Obie's Mud Bath. Obi stared at the dried up watering hole. The little rhino couldn't remember the last time rain splashed on his hide. He wandered off in search of a cool, ooey, gooey mud bath. As he stomp, stamped along, Obi spotted Rufaro, the ostrich. Good morning said Obi. Good morning, said Rufaro. Do you know where I might find some mud? I can't say that I do, Rufaro replied. From the corner of his eye, Obi saw a dark gleaming mound. Is that mud? He ran over and stuck his snout in. But Mud didn't scurry and crawl. Yikes! Obi yelped. Don't move, said Rufaro, sweeping the ants away. You've got a fabulous feather pan, fan, Obi said. Still, there's nothing like a cool, ooey-gooey mud bath. Obi kept searching. Then he stumbles, stumbled upon Tedda the giraffe. Yoo-hoo, he called. Tenda is the name of this giraffe. Can you see if there's mud nearby? Tenda tapped her toes and stretched her long neck. Sorry, dry, dry, dry to my two eyes. Obi squealed. Oh, there's something brown. Is it mud? But mud didn't flap and hop. I don't think mud can fly, Tenda answered. Oh, a bird breeze. But there's nothing like a cool, ooey-gooey mud bath, said Obi. He plodded on and bumped into Maya, Mo Moyo, I beg your pardon, Moyo, the elephant. Excuse me, said Obi, have you seen any mud? Moyo is the elephant. If I did, little one, I'd be rolling in it. Moyo sighed. Is that boy elephant? I don't know, honey. Obi sighed, too. Boy elephant? Looking at the dusty ground. I don't know if Obi is a boy or a girl. No. And sometimes it really doesn't matter. They're just a couple of people. Could that be a puddle of mud? But mud didn't slither and hiss. Whack, thump. Moyo's trunk swayed and swiped the snake away. Thanks. That was close. There must be a cool, ooey-gooey mud bath somewhere, Obi said. And just, and then, just when he thought he couldn't go any further, Obi shouted, finally a cool, ooey-gooey mud bath. He dove in. <laughs> The little rhino found a tire wrapped around his nose. He, he swatted with his hooves, bounced off the trees, tossed his head back and forth, but nothing worked. Obi bellowed long and low then plopped down with a thud that echoed far and wide. 
unstuck, he mumbled through his muzzled mouth. Rufaro, Tenda, and Moyo counted to three. Rufaro. Um, Rufaro was the, is the ostrich, Tenda is the giraffe, and Moyo is the elephant. They counted to three. Motsipirito tu tatu, then tugged with all their might. The tire wouldn't budge. Clouds of dust kicked up from the dry earth and tickled Obi's snout. <laughs> now, Obi was stuck and slimy. Once again, the friends yanked and yanked, huffed and puffed, and little by little the, the tire loosened until whoop, it was off. Everyone cheered. We did it! Obi's snout was free, but he still longed for a cool, ooey, gooey mud bath. Obi thought about Rufaro's fanning feathers, Tenda's tapping toes, Moyo's swaying trunk, and the push-pull, push-pull, fan-tap sway, push-pull, fan-tap sway, push-pull. I've got it, Obi shouted. Let's do a rain dance. The circle of friends skipped and twirled, shuffled and stepped, shimmied and shook, wiggled their butts and chanted to the sky. Until water trickled down and at long last became a shower. Finally, Obi enjoyed the coolest ooey gooey mud bath ever with his friends. And there's a story behind the story that was inspired by an actual in event that occurred in Zimbabwe on a scorching day in October 2016. A white rhino bull named Mark was unable to eat or drink when a tire became trapped around his horn and snout. Park rangers at Lake Chavero Recreational Park contacted vets from Aware Trust Zimbabwe, who calmed the rhino and pried off the tire. Mark made a full recovery. Litter, including nets and tires, is frequently found. Mark was this real rhino. Litter is frequently found on the banks of the lake where Mark was grazing. No, he lived. Drought conditions throughout southern Africa have been an ongoing issue for the residents of wildlife. And a portion of this book's proceeds is being donated to water.org, an organization which empowers families around the world with access to safe water and sanitation. And there's uh, even a little bit of biographies here about the author illustrator and consultant. This has been Obi's Mud Bath. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Thanks for reading with us.